Hi, it's me again with Corroder All Tips and Tricks. I've made several videos on how to make leaves for, uh, but this one is kind of unique. Uh, this would be more for a laser engraver maybe. Printer would work too, but if you made these black and then if we engrave them on a piece of wood and the instead of the stems being engraved, the stems would be left alone. Of course, you might want to tweak that little bit part there. Um, I, over the years, I've made several videos on how to make a leaf object. Uh, one, a new one kind of is a polygon tool with three sides and just draw you a rectangle or a, a triangle. Uh, go ahead and get rid of the center uh, objects. Go ahead and go to object and convert it to a curve and then just start and then select them all and uh, turn them all to a curve and then just kind of move them around till you get your leaf effect. Uh, whatever you think looks cool. You know, there's half of a leaf right there. So a little bit different than because I'm drawing it at an angle, I'm gonna hit the plus key and then mirror it and then join those two double click and move your rotation of there and then grabbing that top and you can go right to the middle or a little bit thicker this time but you can see uh, the curve in the middle and we can just delete that line taking the smart fill tool and fill that in and then you have a new object now you could actually turn it a little bit and then uh, squeeze it make it a narrower leaf or whatever you want to do but here's kind of the key. We're going to left click, right click. And then you can make any kind of line. Um, I kind of like taking the, let's take, uh, tell you what, let's do the two point line. And then select it and right click and turn it into a curve. And then curve it a little bit. And you got to remember it's mother nature. And then you could, you know, there's several ways you could do this. Probably the easiest would be to make a duplicate of that line. Control D, move the rotation up there and then just move that a little bit. Uh, you could also use the artistic media tool. But then if we take it and fill it in, we have a gap between our leaves already. So I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna left click, right click. We're gonna just draw lines and I actually used the artistic media tool on mine a while ago and just kind of go over that. We're just gonna take, tell you what, let's use the three point curve line this time. Give a little bit of curve to it. And then let's go to the artistic media tool and pick one that's got thin ends Click on your line and then you're gonna to have to go up or down. And you see what it did, it, it gave me a um, pretty unique line. It might be a little bit too thick still. We can go downhill a little bit, whoop. Well, what am I doing? Um, so what you also always need to do when you're using an artistic media tool is to go up to object and break the artistic media apart. And then with your pick tool, get rid of that, uh, your original line that's actually kind of disappeared. And then you could go to object and convert the outline to an object, left click, left click, right click, and you have that. Now we're still a little bit thick, so I'm gonna narrow it down a little bit more. And then just place it over your line. That's still a little bit thick, but um, we're gonna go with it. And then Control D and make a duplicate and just put it over the line. Then we can take the virtual segment delete key and delete those little lines. These are way too thick, but they'll work. Hit the plus key and mirror it, and then just grab that right there and put it there. And then, you know, it is mother nature, so we can just, uh, you know, it's not gonna be symmetrical or uniform. One more time, plus key, mirror it. 
and they also don't have to be um, right on the money down there. But you can see we're pretty good. You could actually take the shape tool and make them thinner on one side or the other, or both sides. You know, you could do it to both sides and make them a little bit thinner. So as long as the lines aren't interfering with our smart fill, we're gonna take the smart fill tool again. And we want that maybe not as close to there. Let's try deleting those two nodes and see what happens. Pretty good, pretty good. Now just take the smart fill tool again. And we got a little leak right there on that bottom one somewhere. Uh, right there, you can see it. Just move it over. Whoop. Back up and move it over into our leaf body. Then use the Smart Fill tool and fill that in. And voila, all the lines are gone. And if you're going to engrave it, turn it black. And we'll use the yellow box trick again. And you can see it's transparent. You could do a lot better job than I did, you know, make a thinner line off there. You know, I use the artistic media tool. You know, we could do the same thing with a three point curve line and do what exactly what we did, hit the plus key, mirror it or double click on it and then move that line to there. So you've got a lot thinner line this time and that's what it would look like. It always looks better when you move the smart fill away because the lines are gone. Pretty cool. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.